Hello there, let's talk about chain checkers. This is a, a very cheap uh, chain checker and uh, it only really has two settings. Uh, this is 1% this side. If we turn it around, we've got 0.75%. That's uh, uh, When you get to uh, 0.75, you really should be changing your chain. Uh, this particular one, measures very accurately all the way from 0% all the way up to 1%. Uh, and on the underside, sorry about the noise, on the underside there, you can see that the pivot point is that, that hex uh, screw there. And that pin, obviously in that position, it's at its narrowest, or, or I say shortest, push it round to that way, and it's slightly extended, which would give you through the window, if we can see, 1%. So let's go and check a chain and show you how it's done. So we're using the 0.7%, 0.75%. So if that chain, if that fits into the chain, then we know uh, that I should really be changing the, my chain. So, so here we are, here's our chain. And here's our chain checker. So we'll start off on the 0.75%. We'll fill it in there and in there. It doesn't go. So that it's actually resting on that back that edge. So that means that it's that the chain is still good, which is not surprising as it's almost a brand new chain. So that's the 0.75 and it won't go in. If it falls in easily, think about getting yourself a new chain. <clears throat> now this one is more complicated. That has to fit in to the small, between the, the small gap there, and, and that pops into there. We'll see it close up, there you go, that's it, that's in there. Now if I turn this slightly until I feel some resistance, that is the chain measured. And there we go, if we could bring it up into the light, well, I can't really see, but it, that's point two, just under 0.25. And you'd expect to get a 0.25 reading on a brand new chain. There we, yeah, we just see it. It's just about 0.24%. Something like that, 0.25. Yes, definitely 0.25. So that's a brand new chain still. And uh, because of it's currently waxed, as, uh, as you can see, there's hardly any dirt coming off it because of the wax coating uh, it doesn't pick up any oil from the or dirt from the road but anyway that's it that's so uh that's how i check the chain is to go in between the small one close it right down and until i get some resistance and that's 0.25 okay that's enough ah uh, right so Measuring your chain, once it gets to a growth of about 0.5%, you should be changing your chain or having a new chain on order so that you can change it next time you're, you've cleaned the bike. Um, now, you should really, if you keep measuring your chain and changing it before it, it, uh, it starts damaging your rear cassette and your front uh, chain rings uh, you can actually probably get about three chain worth of uh, life out of a cassette and front chain rings now if you don't if you let your chain go over one percent you're running the, running the risk of damaging your cassette uh, and that that becomes you know we're talking about a hundred pounds for a cassette um, I know you probably get cheaper ones um, but they're softer. Uh, the, yeah, so uh, it's cheaper to change a, a 20 quid chain than to change a 100 quid cassette. Or, or if you were, if it's really damaged, your front chain rings will get damaged um, as well. And you have to, have to think about replacing those. Uh, if you're lucky, you'll, you, you'll have replaceable ones. If not, you'll have to buy a whole new crank set, which will cost you a couple of hundred quid maybe. Um, yeah, so that's that's it. Also, me, me, I personally, what I do is I 
because uh, I wax in my chain, I take the chain off every 300 miles and re-wax it. Um, in fact, what I've got is a spare chain uh, so that uh, I can just change it and then you know, um, re-wax the old chain at my leisure, which um, is a lot easier to do it when it's on a rainy day than it is when you're you know, waiting to go out somewhere. But anyway, I've rambled on. Let's get this video uploaded.